17 right now. Here is a live look at the Prescott Courthouse Plaza. I wanted to bring up this shot because it's pretty uh, it's been kind of showing as it updates here. The flags blowing back and forth. We talked at the top of the hour about the breeziness we're seeing in the high country winds right now. All right, about 15 miles per hour in Prescott. The temperature up there is a nice cool 76 degrees. Upper 60s for Flagstaff and upper 70s for Pace and 75 right now in Shola. We are in the 90s in the deserts of the state. Around Arizona right now, uh, we are going to see those temperatures start to drop the next couple of days. We climbed to 77 in Prescott today, but cool it off to the low 70s the next few afternoons for Heber Overgaard. Mid 70s today, but upper 60s with a little more cloud cover on Thursday. Camp Verde goes from the upper 80s to the low 80s. And for Pine Top Lakeside, mid 70s, uh, upper 70s to mid 70s with a decent round of wind in the forecast for tomorrow. The wind is being driven by the pressure gradient or difference between high pressure that's sitting over Arizona and this low that's starting to move on shore in California. As this low comes closer to Arizona, the wind speeds pick up today and tomorrow, but it is also going to usher in some cooler air. What it probably won't bring a lot of is rain. Here's the latest jet stream forecast going uh, into today and into tomorrow. And we may see a little bit of that light rain uh, into northwestern Arizona as the system lifts up and away from us through Thursday. Slight chance for some light showers across northern Arizona as well, uh, but mainly what we're going to look for is a cool down. N definitely no rain for the valley from that system. 99 your forecast high for today. 100 is average for Phoenix this time of year. Very close to normal and our morning low of 74 was exactly average for Phoenix this time of year. We're going to head well below average over the next couple of days as that cooler air moves into the state. So for the valley, that means we go from the upper 90s today to the low 90s. Not a bad way to end the month of May and head into June. Uh, we've passed that unofficial start to summer yesterday, but our temperatures are headed down. Low 90s for about two days. We'll start to climb back again to the mid 90s on Friday. Overnight lows drop off a bit as well. We go from the uh, low 70s to the upper 60s. Winds will drop off a bit too after tomorrow. Now by the weekend, we are looking at a slight chance of showers in the high country. We'll stay dry though in the valley and our temperatures return to triple digit territory.